Would you just look at that color combo, right? Kid Rock. Okay, I have recently fallen in love with, from what I understand, a very new YouTuber. Her oldest upload on her channel is only from a few months ago, and she has popped off. Her name is Carly, and I know her from reading celebrities' favorite books, which has just been such an interesting series to follow. I thought to myself, I would really like to do this. There are plenty of celebrities that I enjoy and I want to get into the heads of, but first, we must pay homage to the queen herself and read her favorite books. So, let's get into what we will be reading over the next however long. First, we have Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. This is a story of loss and burgeoning sexuality, okay? It is told from the first person perspective of Toru. Readers see him develop relationships with two very different women. A TikTok told me this was a great depiction of mental illness, so that made me a lot more interested. Yes. Next is If I Had Your Face by Francis Cha. This is an all too real fictional commentary on the beauty standards in Korea and we follow four different women from very different walks of life who from what I understand are all victim to the same suffocating expectations. Flushes into the mesmerizing world of contemporary Seoul, a place where plastic surgery is as routine as getting a haircut. This sounds so important, so strong. I have high hopes. Next we're going to cover the two books that I think are going to be the most similar and they are Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan and Sally Rooney's conversations with friends. I've been putting off Sally Rooney specifically because I was afraid it was gonna be like Catcher on the Rye, which Carly has rated very highly online. One of my favorite books. So are we the most compatible literary wise? This is just one of those books that an outdated and neglected school system forces everybody to read year in and year out just because it's what they've been doing. Perhaps not. Friendship though, maybe. I for one love mundanity in books. I have a hard time connecting when they don't have to worry about money. <laughs> cannot relate. So, conversations with friends. Francis is a 21 year old student in Dublin, aspiring writer. I don't know why I don't want to read this, which is why specifically I am making myself read this. What better way to try new things than in the attempts to connect with a fellow internet person. We'll see. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. Exciting times. When you leave Ireland to spend your parents' money, it's called a gap year. When Ava leaves Ireland to make her own money, she's not sure what to call it. Yes, this one sounds significantly better. So I think I'll be reading this one first. Girl, I know. Carly, I know. You said Sally Rooney's like your favorite. It might, it's probably great. I'm just so excited. To me, Carly is a booktube goddess. She has lightened my spirits. She has brought joy and serenity to this hellfire lockdown life. And I'm so excited to get into her head. However, however, there is another book that's coming. It's Serious Concerns by Wendy Cope, except my cover looks like this. It's a poetry book, which is my personal challenge because poetry isn't something that I typically read. I like it. If I find a good one, I cling on to it for dear life. For example, when Carly made her favorite poetry video, she read the poem, The Orange. At lunchtime, I bought a huge orange. The size of it made us all laugh. I peeled it and shared it with Robert and Dave. They got quarters and I had a half. And that orange, it made me so happy, as ordinary things often do. Just lately, the shopping, a walk in the park, this peace and contentment, it's new. The rest of the day was quite easy. I did all the jobs on my list and enjoyed them and had some time over. I love you, I'm glad I exist. And the second I watched that video, I printed it out. Just wait, I printed it out so I could have it on my desk at all times. And printed it out a second time so I could put it in my bullet journal and have it with me everywhere I go. I resonate with this poem so deeply and so this, Serious Concerns, is the book that I am the most excited for. The way this poem made me feel, oh my gosh. What do we start with? I think I'm gonna start with the sad one. We're gonna start with Murakami, let's do it. Good morning gamers. So far, I am enjoying this very much. I have a glasses appointment today. These bad boys are three years old. So just wanna throw that out there. So then later on in this video when I have a drastic glow up and I'm at least three points hotter, you know why. So I'm probably just gonna read for the next hour before I have to get ready for that. Let's do it. Wow. Okay, okay. I just finished chapter two. I'm loving it. We jumped right into the, into the beef, the meaty, the goodness. The stakes are laid out, the characters are there. I love that. Good morning. I'm down to the last 50 pages of Norwegian Wood. I'm so torn about how to feel about this book. Finishing it is the only way to conclude our feelings. Let's do it.
first impressions. Ugh. In the beginning, I was thinking maybe this is a new favorite. Is this gonna get five stars? Then pedophilia happened. The way this man writes about sex, particularly from a woman's perspective, is so repulsive and unrealistic. I hate it. I hate it so much. So much. Nobody talks like this. No woman is this way. Like this book is so good when people are just sitting down and talking about their life and the pains of being alive. But then one of them just gets horny for no reason. And <laughs> <laughs> then it gets really bad. So it bounces between being a one and two star and a five star, depending on how horny the female characters are, I guess. So I'm gonna give it three. I think I'm gonna dive into Sally Rooney's conversations with friends next. I'm just gonna read the first chapter. Okay. Sally Rooney doesn't use quotation marks around her dialogue. I hate that, but I could be wrong about this one. I hope I'm wrong about this one. I love having a good time. Anyway, I have a lesson to plan for tomorrow. I have Patreon designs to do. I need to get some work done before I read anymore, but it's a really sunny day, so I'm probably gonna get some more reading done outside later. Let's see. I completely finished reading Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney yesterday while I was outside. It was so easy to fly through. Was I impressed? No. Did I care about anyone in this book? No. About halfway through, did I get swept up in the drama and kind of wanted to see what happened next? Yes. Up next is If I Had Your Face by Francis Cha. I read two chapters this morning. Let's go outside. <laughs> teaching my lesson. My super cool and hot friend got me a bunch of snacks haul. First, hot pot seasoning. Yum! Dried seaweed for miso soup. Rice papers with sesame seeds in them and you microwave them until they get kind of puffy and hard and then you dip them in soy sauce and chili oil. And she also sent me home with soy sauce that she said was Vietnamese so it's better than regular soy sauce. But what made my heart swell so big until it exploded, she got me matcha. I've been wanting to get matcha all week. I'm gonna go get some almond milk and I'm gonna make matcha lattes and I'm gonna think of Van every single time. My heart is so exploded. It is so exploded. Van, that is not correct English. Never say that. <laughs> Thanks, Van. Thanks so much. Um, so yeah, anyway, my weekend has begun. I just hosted my last tutoring session. I'm gonna make this snack to kick off the party that is this weekend. I'm gonna use this for now. She's right, got it. It smells like popcorn. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna start my weekend now that we've kicked it off properly. Shouts out to Van. The mail's here. Come on. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. It's so small. It's so pretty. Look! The final book for this reading. The final book for this reading vlog is finally here. Serious Concerns by Wendy Cope. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm so excited. This morning I finished If I Had Your Face. We'll talk more about it in the end, but this is the third book that I gave three stars, which for some reason I feel bad about even though three stars is good. Three stars means I liked it. And this morning I started Exciting Times. I'm a couple of chapters in. I really like the writing style in this one. I think this has strong potential. It's the weekend. We will probably finish these within the next couple of days because party time. It's go time, baby. 
We did it. I've read five of Carly's favorite books. Let's talk about it. My thoughts on exciting times. Yikes. In the beginning of this video, I was saying that I was more excited for exciting times than I was for Sally Rooney's conversations with friends. They are extremely similar in the sense that there's no plot. You're just studying some characters, which is great and fun and grand. My favorite book is a character study. I can get behind that. I was very wrong in my predictions. I preferred conversations with friends over exciting times. This covers a girl having an affair with her friend's partner and just the relationship dynamics between this group of friends which honestly it was a really fun escape to care about the mess that others were making in their lives as opposed to the messes I was making in my own so I did finish this in a day because it was just so easy to fly through I can't knock it I may not have been too impressed by it but I had fun this one ended on three stars for me would I read more from Sally Rooney maybe if I find it at the library whereas exciting times ugh, this is about a girl who's teaching English in Hong Kong is there any reason this book needs to take place <laughs> in Hong Kong? No. Unlike conversations with friends, I did not care what happened here at all. I was waiting for something to click and it never did. I feel kind of bad. I really, 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 really didn't like this one. It's the only one that I didn't like. So that's pretty good in my opinion. I'm gonna leave the Goodreads review down below that I feel encapsulates my feelings a bit more. Quite disappointed overall. I gave it two stars and that may be generous. Now let's end on some positive notes, shall we? Francis Shaw's If I Had Your Face was a very unique read. And in my opinion, it gets mega points for having such a beautiful cover. Holy smokes. This has a very similar flavor to the other books in that we're just kind of little voyeuristic flies on the wall peeking into other people's lives. Despite the fact that it was missing something for me personally, I had a good time and I gave it three stars. Now on to my two favorite books that we read over the past few weeks. Serious Concerns by Wendy Cope. Look at all of the little tabs that I've put in here. The Orange is still my favorite. What a poem. Some More Light Verse is another favorite of mine. You have to try. You see a shrink. You learn a lot. You read, you think, you struggle to improve your looks, you meet some men, you write some books, you eat good food, you give up junk, you do not smoke, you don't get drunk, you take up yoga, walk and swim, and nothing works, the outlook's grim. You don't know what to do, you cry, you're running out of things to try, you blow your nose, you see the shrink, you walk, you give up food and drink, you fall in love, you make a plan, you struggle to improve your man, and nothing works, the outlook's grim. You go to yoga, cry and swim, you eat and drink, you give up looks, you struggle to improve your books, you cannot see the point, you sigh, you do not smoke have to try. So good. I also really liked men and their boring arguments. This was such a great way to reintroduce myself to poetry. I really appreciate the juxtaposition between the juvenile sing-songy rhythm of the poems paired with her sorrowful perspective. While also having so much hope, I don't have the words for it. What I do know is that I liked this very much and I gave it four stars. Next, we did cover this one a little bit after I finished reading it. Carly put it perfectly. <laughs> way Murakami writes is really good, but I'm like, this has got men written all over it. He loves to talk about boobs. He'll just be like, I walked by a woman on the street, her boobs were perky or something. And you're like, we get it, you're horny. If he could just stop uh, writing women. We, uh, dude, <laughs> this was so good. This, I loved this book and it feels so weird giving a book that I felt so moved by three stars. But damn, around half of it is just gross and not in a cool or challenging gross kind of way, just lazy. So, conclusions. What do I think Carly's favorite books say about Carly? My gut feeling is that she's a really good listener. She's a really good friend who will just sit down and hear out your problems and let you vent without interrupting or making you feel invalidated. All of these books had such a similar tone to them. It's like you're a little bird sitting in a windowsill just watching these people in their lives and you don't land on their windowsill at a particularly exciting time in their life, but you watch nonetheless. They all kind of show that you don't need an insane plot or twists and turns at every direction to learn lessons. I gotta admit, it's been a shock to go back to plotty books. I've been in such a calm and quiet place, observing, taking in the simplicity of it all. And now when reading other books, it's like, whoa, whoa, let's slow down. <laughs> so thank you, Carly, for sharing your favorite books with me. Overall, we may not be perfectly compatible as far as books that are concerned, but I will turn to your recommendations anytime I need to challenge myself and try something new because I had a really good time with these. I have a few people in mind, but who would you like to see me cover next? I'm very curious. And as always, thank you for clicking, thank you for caring, and thank you for being nice. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!